Hey, this is John Jones with July Numbers for the housing in Rutherford County. We got 11% less sales this month over last July, only 11. Uh, Year-to-date closings, year-to-date, are 17% less than this time last year. Median price actually went up this past month, that second month in a row. And really, median price is only about 4% off of its absolute peak last year. Prices are actually not decelerating, not depreciating, but they're actually appreciating ever so slightly. The reason they're appreciating ever so slightly is because of inventory or lack thereof. Right now, we still only have about two months supply of homes. We only have 865 listings on the market in Rufford County, which is, which is low, and of which 50% are new construction. So if new construction wasn't involved, we truly would have no inventory and prices were probably even going up more. Um, when I look at the predictions of the, of the major trade associations, Fannie Mae, MBA, NAR, all of them are predicting rates to ease down to 6.63 this quarter, 6.27 in the fourth quarter, and most of them are predicting that they will ease down into the fives next year as long as inflation looks like it's cooling. It's all based on inflation. Mortgage rates follow inflation. Um, as I said earlier, home prices are still going up. The dilemma is existing home sellers. They are not selling their home, even though they may be in certain pain points. Traditionally, that you know we need to move up, get the bigger house. We need to move down, get the smaller house. Those folks are staying put because 80% of America has rates under 5%. If you're waiting for the rates to come down before you make your decision, my gut tells me that when that happens, when rates ease back down into the fives, home prices are going to go, they're going to take off again. And I think we'll get into a scenario where, you know, multiple offers and that kind of thing. I know it's hard to stomach a higher rate, but if you do qualify, I don't think you're going to get a house any cheaper than you're going to get it right now. I think it's only going to get worse. And you can always refi that rate. We say date the rate or marry the house, date the rate. I know it sounds kind of cheesy, but in this case, I think it could be very true. Don't let the rates, you know, put a stranglehold on you not to do anything because you can always refinance. Obviously, you need to qualify. You need to feel comfortable that you can make the payment. But if you can, I think if you wait until they come down to fives or whatever, you're going to be paying a lot more for that home and probably be in a bidding war. I uh, hope that helps. We'll keep you tuned next next month. If you need anything, please call us 867-3020.